Israel's emergency services said 11 people were injured before dawn Saturday in attack in the central town of Tira. Footage showed damage to what appeared to be an apartment building. Israel's military said three projectiles had crossed into Israel from Lebanon, some of which were intercepted. Hezbollah began firing rockets, drones and missiles from Lebanon into Israel in solidarity with Hamas immediately after the Hamas-led October 7, 2023, attack on Israel, which triggered the war in Gaza. The year-long cross-border fighting boiled over to full-blown war on October 1, when Israeli forces launched a ground invasion of southern Lebanon for the first time since 2006. Smoke was seen rising over the Beirut skyline early on Friday following a suspected Israeli strike. It comes as Israel and Hezbollah continued to trade fire on Thursday as U.S. diplomats arrived in the region pushing for ceasefires in both Lebanon and Gaza. Rocket barrages from Lebanon into northern Israel killed four foreign workers and three Israelis on Thursday, Israeli medics said, the deadliest cross-border strikes in Israel since it invaded Lebanon. Israel kept up airstrikes it says targeted Hezbollah militants across Lebanon, where health authorities on Thursday reported 24 people killed. Senior White House aides Brett McGurk and Amos Hochstein were in Israel Thursday for talks with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and senior officials about the conflicts with Hamas and Hezbollah. The meetings focused on efforts to secure a ceasefire deal in Lebanon and to assess new proposals floated by mediators to free Israeli hostages being held in Gaza. According to a U.S. official familiar with planning for the talks who spoke on condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to comment publicly. Hezbollah has been firing thousands of rockets, drones and missiles into Israel, and drawing fierce Israeli retaliatory strikes, over the past year since Hamas October 7, 2023, attack out of the Gaza Strip triggered Israel's devastating war in the Palestinian enclave. Over the past year, the broadening Israeli campaign in Lebanon against Hezbollah has killed 2,865 people there, wounded over 13,000 and devastated Lebanese towns near the border. Some 1.2 million people in Lebanon have been displaced since Israel escalated the conflict into a full-blown war last month, when it launched a wave of heavy airstrikes that killed Hezbollah's top leader, Hassan Nasrallah, and most of his deputies. A year of Hezbollah rocket attacks have also forced 60,000 Israelis to evacuate from near the border.